In this part of the series, we're going to talk about creating an automated door using the Training Builder in SimLab Composer. The first thing that we need to do is to create an animation sequence for the door. Switch to the Animation tab and set the Time Slider to frame 60. Now select the Side 1 assembly of the door and rotate it 90 degrees. Select the other side of the door and rotate it in the opposite side. Now select the assembly containing both sides of the door to display all the created keyframes in the animation timeline. Select the four keyframes and click on the Create Animation Sequence button. Type in a name for the sequence and make sure you check the Create Reverse option, then click OK. Open the Training Builder. The Training Builder is a node-based event system that allows you to create a network of related events. It is greatly useful when attempting to create intricate event system. The Training Builder is primarily consisting of event nodes and responses that occur when the events are triggered. Additionally, there are input nodes that can connect nodes from the scene to the Training Builder. The event that we need to use for the door is the Node Enter Node Event. This event can trigger a response when an object, which is the user in this case, enters another object, and this is perfect for creating an automated door. Click on it or drag it into the working area. From the object's tree to the left, select the starting position and attach it as scene node A. For the second object, we can use the door, but this would have the door open when the user is too close. To mimic the behavior of a door sensor, go to the Create menu and under Shapes, Click on Cylinder. Press N on the keyboard and click near the door to snap the cylinder to that location. Then adjust its position and scale to cover the area in front of the door. Once you're satisfied with it, attach it as C node B. As for the response, add a play sequence response, then from the sequences panel at the bottom, Click on the door sequence to attach it. Now attach the event node to the response. What we have created is an event system that triggers the door animation sequence when the user enters the cylinder. We can go further by creating a system that closes the door when the user leaves the cylinder. To do that, create a node exited node event. Attach the cylinder as C node A, then attach the starting position as C node B. Add a play sequence response and connect it to the event, then click on the reversed version of the door animation sequence to attach it. The last thing we need to do is to make the cylinder invisible. Select the cylinder and from the material tab, set its alpha to zero. Run the VR experience. 